Here's an early look at the patch notes for 1.8. Improved game performance and weather. They fixed the rain. They fixed the rain. Okay, contract and stuff. This needs to be a big section. Uh, fix staff and facility effects not returned to normal at the end of sponsorships. Fix drivers or staff with agreed future contracts being poached by another team. Thank you! Fixed AI making contract offers to drivers or staff they've already agreed a future contract with. I like the idea that's like, you know that contract we gave before? We'll give you more now. Fix breakout clauses not being paid! Oh my god, it's the best patch ever. It's the best patch ever. As far as I'm concerned, this is the Felicity patch. They saw the Felicity screen and thought, we have to fix that. Race weekend, improved confidence balance. Make one stoppers viable again. High confidence for Pato. He's leading the driver's championship for the first time in his career. What a time. Okay, four sets of softs. Only three sets for Pato. Does Pato have multiple mediums? Ooh. That could be quite good, having two sets of mediums here. That could be very, very good. Right. Um, ideally, O'Ward doesn't waste his softs too much here. Also, they are way too close together. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I think O'Ward is firm enough ahead here that it's not going to be too bad on the blocking. This could be bad on the blocking, though. Mm, Kimmy is kind of close behind. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Is anyone else nervous? Ricky says we're in a good spot for traffic. I trust him. I mean, in terms of the gap between our drivers, this looks nice. Chat, we're actually on a really good lap so far here. Antonelli is getting the perfect amount of tow. The traffic here. I was going to say it could be a problem. This is actually looking okay. Award might even catch up to the back of these guys as they start pushing. Award hasn't been impeded. I don't know what he's crying about. He did not get impeded there. He's just crying. He's just being a big baby, in the words of Roy Keane. Right. Award Antonelli crossing the line. That's us done. Right, pack it up. We'll go home for Q1. Howdy, Jack. Watching on the train. We've hit a bird so big it's broken the windscreen. The what? Can anyone beat that as a circumstance to be watching the video on YouTube? If you're watching on YouTube or here on Twitch. I don't think so. We've made it through, by the way. That was very, very comfy in the end. He actually did set a crazy lap right at the end there to pip signs. But we're all good. I'm going to get on used tyres here to start the session. Based on that first session, it's going to be bloody hard to keep up with Red Bull and McLaren, isn't it, on raw race pace? They are quick. Antonelli, Award. what are we going to do? If we're faster than Russell, I'm happy. Oh, it's not even close. Consistent times as well. You know what? We'll take that. A lot of people out on track here. Yeah, the flag. Was that Lawson? No, Verstappen running wide again. Verstappen's not having fun, is he? Is Verstappen on an in-lap there? For some reason, he's decided he really likes the bum of Pato Award. Can you not just chill a little bit, mate? Look, you've done your lap. You've had your fun. Why do you have to be here doing this? This is bullying. This is bully. I thought Award was just going to slam into me. Why does it feel like they're going to crash? Anyone else feel like they're going to crash? Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like... Why am I watching this? I could just go in the 2D view and pretend it's not happening. Looking at the times here, it looks like I didn't need to go out. But you know what? Why not see what we're capable of here? On fresh tyres. Anthony did not improve in the first sector. Middle sector, better for him. Are we going to make a bit of a statement here? No, just blow some smoke up everyone else's ass. That's not what the expression blow up, smoke up their ass, smoke up their ass means, is it? Don't even know what I'm talking about. Harrison, edit out the video. Third and fourth. Third and fourth. Okay, Pato's getting the toe. I think I've timed that well. I could be wrong. I think that is pretty well timed. Bottas is on a push lap. Sonoda's on an in lap. Piastri's pushing behind. But won't catch us. I don't know if our ward is close enough to get a tug. Okay, he's definitely not. But this is looking pretty nice, actually. We've got a lot of clean track. Do it for me. Right now, we're eight temps down on signs. He's on an out lap of his own. Verstappen and Sonoda are done this session. So is Piastri. Is Alonso pushing here? I 
think he is. I think this is his final lap. It is. He's got a mega toe there. Alonso's going to be on pole. He's, is it? Oh, okay. I thought he'd run out of fuel. He's actually just got out of the way very cleanly. Oh, chat. Can I even catch Alonso there? He is quick. Both drivers faster through the first sector than they were before. That Alonso toe was crazy, wasn't it? Right, there is a Merc about to cross the line here. Is it Russell? No, it's Bottas. What can he do? Mm, I mean, he's knocked us down, but both our drivers are going quicker. But no purple sectors. I saw Alonso get two purples at the end. I can't see us having the same kind of luck. Please. Please. I mean, that's very impressive by Antonelli, to be frank. Oh, what? Wow. Wow. Pato. Back to ba back race winner. Starts nine. Is anyone still out here on a push lap? Push air and signs. Signs about to cross the line. He can't put it on pole. Push air went. Push <sighs> starting ahead of O'Ward. The only saving goes for Pato is he's got two sets of mediums. Can Teo do a miracle? No. No, he can't. Minty, thank you for the five gifted. Alonso on pole. Oh, chat, everything hurts. McLaren are just, they're just so quick. Fernando Alonso is rolling back the years. Right now, he's second in the driver's standings behind Pato. Pato's going to need a good day today. I don't know if I like Antonelli's strategy here, but I don't have a better idea. I don't know if our ward strategy is going to be good or not. But we'll find out together, you know? At least it's got a degree of flexibility at the end. If there's an earlier safety car, I can go hard to the end. Oh, yeah, we should lower the fuel a little bit, too. Let's save on that fuel. Let's get ready to rumble! Sorry, that's really loud and obnoxious, isn't it? Apologies. I got, I got carried away. I'll admit it. Where are we? Oh! It's showing our drivers a lot this year. Do you reckon they know that Award's going for... The, uh, for the World Drivers' Championship. That can be the only thing. I'm ready. The rain in Spain isn't falling today, but maybe Pato Award will be in the standings. He has got a lot to do here as the boy from ninth place. Let's see what he can get done. Bashir is on the hard head. Sonoda on the mediums. Everyone else around us on softs, including Piastri and Bottas on used softs. And Verstappen. Fair few drivers having to use extra sets of softs from the looks of things. A world drops a place to rustle off the rip. Not ideal, but Pacher on the hards is doing us a favour by boxing him in. Oh my word, who is that? Through goes Liam Lawson in the Aston Martin. What was that there? Oh my word, we went very wide there. That was scary. Antonelli's dropped one place, but he's still fighting away at the front. Can he get a move to near on Fernando? No DRS yet. Tell you what, these guys running on used tyres are going to be in a weird spot. Oh, my word. Yellow flag. What happened? Verstappen? Oh. He was third in the Drivers' Championship. He's going to be in last in the Drivers' standings for this race. That makes no sense. That just kind of makes sense. He was going for the lead. He was already on cooked tyres. Max Verstappen, he's, he, he crashed in Mexico, didn't he? 59% wear. He's done. He's done. Antonelli somehow got up to second. Well, how does that happen? When did Antonelli get P2? Did I miss that? There's a scrap here. I would, looking to get past Bottas. Did Bottas not have DRS there? I wasn't paying attention. Now, Toe on the hards is in a pretty good spot, isn't he? Nice job. He might help minimise the DRS train, to be fair, Teo. Right, I would up to ninth. Does need to deploy here. It is going to be kind of important that we get past... Um, Teo quickly, I think. Kimmy's got DRS here. Could he go into the lead? Red Bull have already got one driver go out on this corner. Could we compound signs to further misery? Kimmy, round the outside for the lead of the race. Come on, my son. 
Things you love to see. Jimmy Antonelli leading this front pack of four cars. Does feel like it is a free car championship this year, doesn't it? Between ourselves, the Red Bull and the McLaren. The Red Bull, who was in the scrap, though, not looking like a good day for him. Sainz has DRS here. You expect him to get past Kimi. Kimi, though, says, no, not today, not here. Okay, maybe, maybe here, he says, under his breath. Oh, that's scary wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Can Kimi hold position? He's got the inside here. Yeah. Okay, we're still in the lead for now. Bashir has been done with DRS, by the way. It's the hard V, the medium tyres. A lot of soft runners are head up the road here for uh, O'Ward. Be really nice if you could catch up with them to get DRS off them. Right now, he's a second and a half behind. We'll push a little bit just to try and close that gap. O'Ward has just set a fastest lap, by the way. He's got in DRS range. The issue I've got now is that I've cooked the tyres to get here, but... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, Pato, just do another move. That's fine. Do need to top up a little bit now. I mean, this pack, Alonso's... Uh, not Alonso, sorry. Sonoda's at the head of it behind Piastri. It's only two seconds to the race leaders. Piastri's softs have gone, of course. A few people did start on new softs. And Magnussen has been overtaken by Max down at the bottom chat. It's a sad day for the Kevin fans. Oh, my word. Free wide. Free wide. Free wide. That is. I feel sorry for George Russell. He does not know what's just happened to him there. He's just been mugged in broad daylight. Nice. Nice job. That was a sick Nine, overtake. Six. Oh, can we get Yuki as well? I think we are. I think Award is pulling off a blinder here. here we are, this overtake. I mean, I feel sorry for George. He had to just slam on the brakes. Massive overtake. You love to see it. I tell you what, he's got Yuki as well here. Now, Yuki is also on medium tires. Yuki might be on the same strat as us. Kalina would be nice to help me manage my tires. Alonso is so close behind signs here. Can't get the move done, though. Antonelli has a little bit of breathing room at the front. I'm still a bit nervous that Alonso gets DRS here and gets past. I need signs to defend well here. I need these two to cost each other time scrapping. Mm. Mm. Didn't scrap as much as I needed them to. A Ward and Sonoda, by the way. Wheel to wheel racing there. I should probably pit next lap with Antonelli. Wait, okay, I thought Piastri wasn't going to pit there, chat. I thought he was losing his mind. Sonoda's not in DRS on us. That's pretty nice. Lawson was in a dangerous spot as well. He's pitted. If these two want to scrap a little bit in second and third, that would really help Kimi out. I think I pit this lap with Kimi. I don't want to risk them undercutting me. Tyres look a bit close here, but I can easily ease up on the um, hard stint. And Ward actually built up a really, really nice gap to uh, Sonoda there. I didn't see Sonoda get pushed wide or anything, but he must have had a moment. I'm expecting the front three to pit. Alonso doesn't pit. Signs doesn't pit. That could be really big. If Hadjar pits, chat, we're in heaven. If, Pad if Hadjar pits, we are in heaven. That's a great pit stop. We love that. Clap that from the ultras. Isaac, we're in heaven, baby. We're in heaven. Oh, look at this lovely gap to come out into. That is, he was the only person who pitted there. It's like he knew. It's like he knew. Right, so the runners in front of us bought, bought us at 26%. These guys are playing with fire on their strat. I mean, a ward should go flying by air, but a sign's 23%. That is... He is going to be losing a lot of time here, whereas Antonelli is in relatively clean air. I've got a few guys coming up here, but I'm hoping they're all going to be pitting in this next lap. Is Alonso going to pit? He had to. He absolutely had to. 
So does Signs. Award stays out, takes a net lead of the race. Sonoda stays out, of course. He's on mediums as well. Kimi does need to get moves done here. Losing time right now, but they're all pitting. Which means I'm going to get DRS. I mean, that's pretty good. Alonso's coming out the pit lane here. That is Antonelli there. What was the gap pre-pitch chat? Was anyone paying attention? Piastri didn't get an undercut. The gap was definitely not 3.5 seconds. I know that much. Perez and Leclerc up next. We probably catch Leclerc to get DRS at the end of the lap as well. So a lot of hard runners here. Piastri hard, Alonso hard, Sainz hard. So they're going soft, hard, medium, I assume. Obviously, the risk for Antonelli is that I am currently, at least, booked in to do a free stopper. Oh, I really need Leclerc getting out the way here. He's so slow. He's so slow. What is he doing? Please! Please! I lost about a second there. Not ideal, could be worse. I mean, Piastri behind is on hards. I have to expect to be quicker than him. I have to make a call as well. Do I go on hards to the end, or do I go with a hard soft strategy that's booked in? Which, do, which does the game think is quicker? It reckons the hard soft is two seconds slower. But if everyone else is running mediums and hards at the end, that set of softs could be so good for getting past people. It's not hard to overtake here. Perez has got a major fault of some kind. He's not going to hold up. Alonso, sadly. Uh, Sergio, what's up? Gearbox. No DRS for Antonelli, but he's reeling in for share. I don't know how much I can hold back Colonzo here, to be completely honest. Might be a case of accepting while fighting wheel to wheel. Alright. Sonoda. Oh, Sonoda pitted. I thought Sonoda would stay out of the lap. He's now going to get the undercut on us, potentially. It ain't looking good. Alonso trying to get past Antonelli. I say trying to. He's bloody done it. Ahead before the corner. Uh, the temptation to switch to two stops is really tempting. You know what? I'm going to try and just hang out behind. Don't have to get the overtake done. Let's just top up the battery. Let's just top up the battery and chill. Okay. We're pitting here. Yuki is the man to keep an eye on. He was a second behind us, but he got the undercut. What tyre did he put on, Yuki? He started on the mediums. He put on a set of softs. Oh, he'll definitely get the undercut on us. Not our fastest stop, but not awful either. Antonelli and Alonso. Ooh, that works. That works. You know what? I can live with that. I don't think we get out ahead of Yuki here. He's on softs. He got one lap on those softs before we came out. Okay. Hudjar just set the fastest lap, by the way. That uh, Porsche car is quick. How many times is Piastro and Alonso going to pit? Probably once more. I think they're going to go hard mediums, whereas I'm going medium hard. So I'm going to be slower, theoretically, on the slower tyre, at least later. Which is why I'm still tempted by the soft hard strategy. Or hard soft it would be. Oh, Hamilton issue. Hamilton issue. Bit disappointed by Aston Martin. They've shown like uh, flashes where they are a really, really good team. But they've not been a massive contender, have they? Yeah, Yuki is now ahead of signs. I think Yuki is in a really good spot here. 
Yeah, this is a bold strat, chat, but I feel like I have to do something different, otherwise I'm just going to finish behind the McLarens when I go on to hards to the end of there, or mediums to the end. Okay, are we ready? Ultras, assemble. we still got a few more stops to do today. This could be important. Also, awards back behind Russell, I've just noticed. What time is Russell on? Russell's on hards. Great stop. Mega stop. Kind of tempted to deploy with O'Ward here just to try and get George Russell out of range. Okay. Fastest pit stop of the day. Yeah, good job. P5. Power ahead is signed. That's big. Right, Kimmy, son, you get to go a bit aggressive here. You can push. I really need to get George Russell out of DRS. I don't want to be losing time fighting him. Is Yuki going to pit here? Is Piastri going to pit here? There's a few people on the right on the cusp of having to do it. I have to assume that the McLarens are going soft, hard, medium. But those mediums are going to have to last a while. Yuki presumably pits here for hards to the end. I think. If he doesn't go if he doesn't go hard, I start to panic. Then I start to panic. Right, if he could have a slow pit stop, that would help. Okay, he's on hards to the end. That's what I expect him to go on to, so that's good. So Yuki is gonna make these hards last to the end. 26 laps. Oh, Perez has got a puncture. On the start finish, he's got it as well. He is gonna be slow all lap. Bottas is in the puncher zone. Oh, dear. That is... That's not a good spot to get a puncher. Is the yellow flag for him? No, there's a yellow flag for something else. Who's had a spin? Bortoletto. Oh, it's a sad day, isn't it? Bottas is in danger. This is turning chaotic. Both McLarens are still out. So what I was going to say is, Sonoda's going to be trying to nurse these hards to the end, whereas Antonelli is going to be pushing hard on these hards and then going on to softs to the end. Uh, Alistair Raven Gaming, mate. Thank you for the prime. Oh, guys, you're going mad with the subs just now. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Antonelli catching up to Russell. Two and a half seconds that last lap. Perez is still going around the track here, chat. The, f the front cars are about to come up to him. Are they going to clear him or is he going to get in the way? There's multiple cars getting blocked here and having some issues. I can see the sparks in the distance. He might just make it into the pit lane before this lot catch him. Oh, oh, oh no. He's got out of the way of one. Piastri stuck. Oscar Piastri is fuming. He is so angry. Oscar is being mudded. He is watching this race win vanish in front of his very eyes. Carlos Sainz will arrive on the scene of the crime after the... Well, the criminal has got away because I can tell you now he's in the pits. He's got a terminal fault as well and is retiring. Wow. Piastri lost four seconds. Antonelli in the meantime catching up on George Russell and trying to get the overtake done here. Does get the overtake done here. The boy is cooking. Alonso Pitts, Piastri, are they going to stack them? He's staying out on 30% where they are giving Alonso lead in the Drivers' Championship priority. Mediums to the end. We knew they were going to do that. So Alonso is going to try and make a set of mediums last, well, for 23 laps. We are going to be putting on a set of uh, softs and going motor racing. We're actually quite far ahead here. Piastri getting blocked is disastrous for him. Alonso has got pretty nice clean air. Okay, both leaders pit here. Now, Sainz and Piastri are next to one another right now. Kind of racing. At the same time, there's a, a Ferrari coming into the pits. Ferrari was second in the constructors last year. Sainz puts on mediums. He gets out. He actually jumps the Ferrari in the pits, but Piastri was quick too. Russell pits. Alonso sets a fastest lap. In fact, no, it wasn't Alonso. It was Sonoda. Sets a fastest lap. He is cooking. 
So Ward is going to pit in four laps time. That's why I'm not saving fuel now. I'll save it when I'm doing the run on the softs. I feel like Alonso's really pushed his mediums hard early on here. Are we about to give DRS here as well? Oh, this is a beautiful place to swap. I can actually get rid of this option. I don't like the don't fight teammate instruction when they let each other pass on straights like this because you do lose time. So Alonso and friends are putting in good times now on fresh tyres, but none of them are on softs at the end where we're going to be. We have to do some overtakes on track. Pato's in the pit lane. Bloody hell, lock in. All right, he's probably going to come out mm, ahead of Russell, is my guess. Pato's in the pit lane, set of softs. He will not be able to push his softs to the same degree. That is... That is as fast as you can go for a pit stop in this game, so I can't really be mad. We have come out just behind Russell. I thought we'd come out ahead of him, but it's not the, not the end of the world. P7. I'm going to need to look after these softs. I'm going to get temps in them and then probably just ease into them. Lonto is still gaining on us, but obviously he is not going to be gaining for much longer. What is Lawson's strategy? I think it's pure vibes. They've gone on hards now. I don't think they know what they're doing at Aston Martin because, what, chat, this is like something I would do when I'm having a breakdown. They've gone soft, medium, soft, hards. What are they cooking? Yellow flag. Safety car now would be really nice. Big shunt. Who had a big shunt? What happened? Crush involving multiple cars. Oh, it's George Russell. This is in front of O'Ward. Is that Mick? Oh, it was huge. Is he okay? Is he having an asthma attack? And look at the team there. They all knew Here's an Ayla. That was a big shunt. Wait, whoever that was, have they got a puncture? Oh, I think it was Mickey hit based on the tyre wear. He's not got a puncture. Russell's got a time penalty chat. I mean, I don't think that's really going to affect us anyway, but... Huge news. I mean, we've gained on Russell pretty quick here. We're not even pushing these softs. There's a yellow flag. Mate, you did f up, you idiot, Alonso. No, Kimmy. Kimmy. Proceeding through turn four. Why? You were forecast a podium. But that's just the risk you take. Oh, Alonso going through is going to haunt me. Just watching Alonso go through. Right, I have to pit for softs this lap because he cooked his hards. Oh, I don't know why I've clicked it. Oh, it's so sad. Where are we? Look for us on the outs. There we are. Pain. Oh, pain. Right, Kimmy's going to pit, lose 25 seconds. He's going to come out three seconds behind Russell and O'Ward, but with way fresher softs. Right. There's got to be a crazy stint here. It's a good pit stop. I'm going to find, try and find the positives. It's not, a, it's not really quick, but you know what? It's not an error. O'Ward is now ahead of Antonelli, bizarrely. Obviously, Kimmy is going to be able to push his soft harder. I mean, 13 laps here. O'Ward last lap was... Almost two seconds faster than Piastri. 24 seconds. It's definitely doable. Absolutely is doable. I think we can get third and fourth here, guaranteed. Pato's still on let teammate pass. I'll t uh, I turned it off, but to be honest, if, if Kimmy catches up, I probably would l like swap them anyway, just based on tyre wear. Keep nursing your tyres. I mean, as long as Antonelli doesn't lock up, he's still in a pretty good spot here. The lockup cost us like maybe eight seconds. Kevin, it's me, your pal Jack. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll admit it. I didn't invite you to my barbecue last week, but if you let us past here, I'll reconsider for next time. Can you do? Can you do the same? I'll bring a piñata with me. You love piñatas, Kevin. You always told me that Viva Piñata was your favourite game on the Xbox 360 of all the launch titles. I've remembered that, Kevin. That's a core memory to me. All right, thank you. Right, chat, am I letting them race here? Or is the sensible thing with O'Ward to just let him through? I think it's probably sensible just to let Kimmy through. I'm not going to do it via instructions. Uh. 
but Kimmy is just quicker. I know it's going to hurt Pato's ego. I don't want them to. I don't. I don't want them to. Um, to squabble here. Come on, Kimmy. He lost a lot of time. We'll never truly know. But I want to believe that we would have had a shot at uh, Alonso on this strategy. We're going to be in a really good spot here where we get to Sonoda for DRS. Try and clear him really early on the uh, start-finish straight. Gives us a really good chance to build the gap on him so he can't challenge us. And also try and rein in Piastra at the end. Kimmy's tyres might be on fire, but it's a small price to pay. All right, now we're going to standard just to cool them a little. Don't want him to lock up. Two laps to try and get Carlos signs. And if I really want a miracle to get Sonoda as well. Looks like Alonso is going to be scoring the max 25 points. For the sake of the driver's championship, I want needs to get some moves done here. Okay, Ward needs a miracle chat if he wants to get Yuki, but he should be able to get Carlos Sainz here. It's the last lap here at Spain. I'll be honest, it's been a little bit of pain. But we are, we are doing our absolute best. Okay, we dropped Sainz. We're only a second behind Yuki, chat. I'm starting to believe... I'm starting to believe this has been our season in a nutshell, hasn't it? This really has just been our season in a nutshell. Consistently scoring kind of third, fourth, fifth. Oh, Ward has absolutely cooked his tyres to get in this position. Please, Pato, please. Up the inside. Oh, my word, he's made it work. Oh, my word. Has he got it done? He's in fourth. That is massive for the championship. Alonso's going to win it. Award is in the puncher zone. Piastri sadly could not be caught by Antonelli, but he will be on the podium. Award, massive final lap. He gets the fastest lap of the race there to secure a bonus point. It could matter come the end of the year. It could be a factor. I want to play the flute, but the bloody soundboard's broken. I'll just, I'll just put the hat on. I'll just put the hat on. If Antonelli hadn't locked up, could he have? Oh, he's 10, 11 seconds behind on Alonso. We'll never know is the sad reality. Because it did also force me to pit sooner. I'm still pretty happy with that. That's, you know what? That's still a solid performance from the boys there. I mean, Kimmy got a podium for the prediction. For the believers in the prediction... How many drivers will we have on the podium? One. Hamilton made up 10 places. Hadjar made up 10 places. Hadjar always qualifies really badly and then scores a point. Like right now, he, he, look, he just consistently gets one or two points. Respect. Sadly, with that result there, Alonso, three points ahead of Pato Award. Mm. And in the constructors, McLaren Paul Claire. I mean, we're 18 points behind them. We're going to keep fighting them, but their car is a rocket ship. Oh, uh, boo. Oh, uh, what is this? Is the developments we have no development? Oh, 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 champs. Mm, mm. We love that. Smoothness in this house is appreciated. That's why, that's why I shaved my legs. Um, Next, adaptability up three. Oh, my word, Antonelli's a god. Up three and adaptability, potentially huge. Next. Oh, boo. Defending, but... Oh! Oh! I love the fact that Award is still improving. He's like 27, 28. Reactions are the same accuracy. I mean, you can't really be mad, can you? Isabel Gonzalez. I love her. What's she doing? Cornering up immediately, my queen. Breaking up... This is why we love her. I'm going to get a stained glass window with her face on it put in the house. I don't even walk all like that. Uh, smoothness, 86, is already good. Adaptability up to overtaking. Mm, I mean, look, her overtaking defending are already good. Okay, look, I'll admit it. She's not improved as much as I hoped. She's still bloody well-rounded, though, isn't she? We love that. And then Solov. 
Solov's doing Solov things. How's Felicity? Let's have a look at the drivers. I miss her. I said she's not actually that good. Like her reaction and smoothness and breaking are all really, really bad. And this is with her having some positive mentality effects. All I'm saying is read it and weep it. That yeah, she can corner well, she can kind of defend. She's got good accuracy. But Isabel can do a bit of everything. Chat, it's a massive day for us. The the wind tunnel is now tier two. Now I've got twenty two million in the bank. The drivers aren't really crashing. Should we what should we upgrade next? See, design center is kind of nice because I can have research going on whilst I also develop points. Also, oh, probably should be fixing this stuff. Although well, actually, it's not that worn. It's fine. You know what? The, the, we'll we'll upgrade the boardroom because I'm a man of the board. Now you know what, chat. I've got I've got a plan. What of it? What of it? Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah, we have 700 grand left, but there's a big gap to the next race that we're not even doing today. I'm sorry. Breaking news in case you didn't know that. Well, that was the last race of the day, but we'll get to just before the race or at least the CFD reset point. Hold me back. We're spending all our money. I'm a nutty geezer. Oh. I doff my cap to my lady. That, delete that from the video, Harrison. Isabel's got up to 77 rated.